Okay, guys. So today, the Ottawa Senators have announced that they have signed forward Philip Schlappick to a two-year, to a one-year deal. Sorry, it's a two-way deal. I meant to say, it's worth seven hundred thirty-five thousand in the NHL and seventy thousand in the AHL. And I think this is an important sign for the Sens. It's kind of a. It's not a like uh, your, you know. Your, maybe your sexiest signing you round you would get of, of re-signing a prospect or whatever. But I think it's an underrated, important signing because I think Schlappick still has more to prove as an Ottawa Senator. I think he's a guy that's maybe been a little bit forgotten about by Sens fans. Obviously, we have some prospects that have kind of bumped them down as our prospect pool has continued to get stronger these last two or three years. And I think for Schlappick, he's a guy that's going to definitely have to prove himself. And if he really wants to to show the sense that he can be an NHL player and be a legitimate NHL player. He's going to have to make their team out of camp this year and I think stick full time and not be a guy that's kind of bouncing up and down from the AHL like he has the last few years. What type of player is Schlappick? Is he going to be a guy that, you know, because let's remember in, in his final year in junior in 16-17, he totaled 34 goals. 50, 57 assists for 91 points in 57 games played. I mean, that's no that that's nothing to shake a stick at. That's for sure. He now I know people are going to say it, and you're they're right. I mean, NHL is a totally different level than junior. And just because you can put up good numbers in junior, it doesn't mean that you know that that's going to translate over to the NHL. And that's true. But there is a little bit of offensive upside there with Schlappick. I think he's got more than, than we think. I don't think he's ever going to be a guy that's going to be a true power play guy in the NHL with the Sens. I just, just because I think we have some prospects that are still way ahead of him. I, I think Schlappick's ceiling is a guy that could be a fourth or third line center who's got some skill and hopefully he can get better on the defensive side of the game. I think his... His skating needs to improve a little bit. I think he's a decent skater, but maybe in order for him to stick around, maybe even be a penalty killer, I think his skating's got to improve a little bit. Maybe he needs to use his body a little more, staying on the on the topic of physicality. Um, maybe he's got to use that body a little more. He's actually a sneaky big dude. He's like 6'2", almost 200 pounds. I didn't realize he was that big and heavy and, and tall. But that, that, all that aside, I think he's a guy that he's got better hands though than people think. And if he's further down in your lineup, I think you're using him right. But he's probably not going to be a guy, like I said, that's going to be playing in the Sens top six full time. But guys, that's all I have to say on this signing. Do you think this is Philip Schlappick's last chance with the Ottawa Senators as far as getting contracts go? If it doesn't work out, if he's kind of, let's say, up and down in the AHL and the NHL bouncing around between the two leagues this year. Is that going to be all she wrote for him in Ottawa or will he get another chance? And is this the year he finally solidifies himself a roster spot on the Sens team? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. As always, please like and subscribe and share this video. And I don't know if you can hear it, but school's out. I live right next to a school, so sorry about that. But anyways, like and subscribe and share this video and I'll talk to you guys again soon.